Morning world, Tippy Trevi. Well, it's still just morning, just on quarter to 12, and uh, welcome to a very sunny but somewhat chilly Queensland. Follow the intro. Hi, Tippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. So, yeah, I've started on the next model kit, um, and this is it here. Um, I don't know how, some sort of Panzery thing, I think some sort of Panzery uh, tank. So I started into it yesterday. Sorry, I started into it yesterday. Um, so I got the tub on, I uh, got the torsion bars on, and that's sort of about as far as I went. Took a little bit to work out what was going on. Let's turn some light on here. So this one's got a lot of pieces and a lot of double up. So like that's one side of the tank parts and then you get the other side of the tank parts these are instructions and I would not say they're overly clear and the part I'm uh, dreading the most and the part I'm dreading the most is trying to put all this track gear together I've got no idea I've watched a couple of videos how to put this track gear together but I'm not looking forward to it so now my color paint scheme now uh, I'm not a very good modeler okay so I don't know if you can see any of those uh, the light's probably not really good right so there's some of there's just some of the models there up there so I'm um, not what you could call a professional model sorry I'm um, not what you call a professional modeler uh, I don't even have specialized tools I have my Swiss Army knife that I trim things with I have a few paint brushes that I use over and over again that I wash out in metho I do have a magnifying glass on a stand which I use occasionally I don't have an airbrush of any kind. I have a few paint pens. Uh, so I have a few paint pens, and that is my total. That is my total collection of paints in there. I don't have a great deal of paints, so I don't know how to paint camo. I don't know how to paint camouflage or anything like that. Um, this tank ain't going to look like a professional model I built it. It's just going to look like I've got a few things of paint. I've got paintbrush, no airbrush, nothing. Uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to hand paint the whole thing. But you know what? Uh, these long winter nights it uh, keeps me occupied. So I've got a light set up here now, running off my inverter. So that gives me plenty of light to look down where I'm going. And other than that, that's just the. Uh, where I build my models. I sit here in my chair, in my bus, and that's my total workspace there. Not a lot to it. So, anyway, I know a few, uh, a few of you are following some of the models I build. This will not be a good build. Um, I'm not very, this will not be a good build. I'm not a professional model builder. Um, this is the first army tank I've actually done since I was like 14 years old. And like I said, I've got no, I don't have no, um, I don't have any airbrush equipment, anything like that. I've just got paints and some uh, dodgy old paint brushes and that's about the best I can do. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm just up to this stage now where I've got the torsion bars on, on the tub. And I've just started painting a couple of the wheels and I've got all that to do. And uh, like I said, I'm not looking forward to the tracks. That's what the tracks look like. So yeah, that's what that's what that's what the tracks look like. Lots of little individual pieces to put back to get to put together to make the uh, the tracks up. So. I'm really not looking forward to putting those tracks together. A lot of the early model tanks I did back when I was 14, they all had uh, like rubber band tracks, they were good. So 
Anyway, you know, world, so that's where I'm at now. That's the model I'm building now. I've seen quite a, I've seen a couple of videos of other people's model of this build, and it just looks phenomenal. I'm not even in their class, and um, my tank's not going to look nothing like theirs or anything like that. But you know what? I'm just going to try and enjoy myself and have fun doing it. And the most tedious part, as you know, is, is just the, is the individual hand painting of all the pieces, and there are a lot of pieces there to paint. So, anyway, worlds, uh, you know the drill. Stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.